Right, I'm going to show you uh, what's probably the best and most accurate way of uh, collimating your primary mirror. Um, you've probably heard of it, it's called the Barlow laser method. Uh, and obviously you're going to need uh, a laser collimator. Now it's preferable with your laser collimator if you've got one of these sort that has the window in it with the target area. Um, it's no big deal if you haven't. Uh, because you can do a little modification which uh, I'll show you in a second um, but like I say it's much more preferable so if you haven't got a laser collimator basically just go out and buy the Antares one because it's got everything you want it's collimatable it's got the target area um, it's a lot cheaper than say the Hortex that are like over 100 quid uh, now the thing is if you don't have a window and you have got a laser collimator but you don't, you don't have the target area window you can make a screen for the bottom there's like loads of sites on the internet that show you how to make a screen for the bottom some have used tracing paper taped on and what have you much easier method than that um, if you go to your local hardware store B&Q or places like that you want to get yourself one of these um, it's a Dremel cut off wheel um, made for the little Dremel hand tools uh, the thing is it's got a little hole right in the centre that you need but as well as that it actually fits perfectly over the end of a laser collimator it fits just right on a on a one and a quarter inch fitting um, you know you just want like a bit of tape around it or a bit of blue tack or anything um, and if, you, if you're doing it that way then you're going to need like a makeup mirror as well to place underneath your focuser uh, so that you can you can actually see what's being projected onto onto this don't matter that it's dark you, you'll still see the projection on it um, like I said that's if you don't have a target area uh, you're also going to need one of these uh, just an average bog standard Barlow lens this is one that came with uh, my Skywatcher telescope just any cheap or Barlow lens will do and basically all you do is put your laser collimator into your Barlow fasten it up and then just insert it in your scope now once you've done that instead of getting a dot you'll see a wide area instead um, and what happens is that the Barlow it sort of diffuses the, the laser light spreads it out into a much wider beam uh, that beam then hits hopefully the, the centre of your primary and it sends back and up to your focuser a reflection of, of your donut, your centre spot um, the, you know is in the middle of your primary it sends that reflection back sends a full reflection instead of being a dot uh, so what you'll see in, in, your, in your collimation target area is a reflection you'll, if you've got a normal spot you know the, uh, the look, looks, looks like a ring binder the ring binder type spot you'll see that in dark on your target area you'll see a dark circle with red on the inside red on the outside because the, the ring binder obviously is covering a little part of the mirror which is making it non-reflective so you get a shadow reflected back uh, mine's different as I've said before mine's the uh, the hot spot but um, what we'll do now is I'm going to sort of zoom up onto the view in the collimator and twiddle the, the buttons a little bit on on the primary so that you can see what's going on uh, your primary may look very similar to this it might have a plate over it um, you know different sorts but uh, basically they're nearly all the same. I've got my collimation bolts and then I've got locking screws. Um, like my collimation bolts on this are just thumb screws. Uh, some are Phillips head screws, you know, but uh, basically everything's the same. They're always sort of in a three like that. So I'll zoom in and I'll give you a look at the view in the collimator so you can see what's going on. Okay, we've got the, uh, we've got the collimator in, in close up there now and hopefully you'll be able to see if I start to twiddle the collimation bolts you can see what looks like the radiation symbol there just just sort of going past that's one of the one of the arms of it the hole in the middle of it uh, if I move another bolt so I move things around a little bit you can see this dark reflection and like I said that that's my, my centre spot on my primary. Um, you will just get a circle. Um, it's a little bit difficult. The, the, the camcorder doesn't pick up laser light very well. And when it does, it sort of diffuses and messes it up. Um, but when you try this method, 
you'll see that it's, it's a phenomenal method and you can even get hold of your collimator while it's in that position and wiggle it about because um, it, it's not depending on being straight in a straight line it's just a reflection that, that's being bounced back so you can even wiggle the, the, the collimator out and people are amazed at the fact that you can do that um, you must try it if if you've never tried it you just just got to try the, uh, the the Barlow laser method because it is the very best so I'm going to zoom back in now and I'm going to bring it into collimation uh, just to give you an idea and a couple of the little tips okay uh, now that we're zoomed out again uh, once again let me just explain I've got these these are the locking bolts um, they should be like relatively loose at this point uh, the adjustment bolts now what I need to do is I need to adjust my collimation bolts until I've got my reflection of like I said mine's a, a hot spot which will come in oh, there we go comes in fairly easy um, you know, you'll soon get familiar with it. It's not a difficult thing. It's it's not something that's hard to learn. As soon as you see the reflections, um, you'll realise exactly what it is that you've got. It's the like I said, the camera. It, it just don't like the laser light. Now the thing is, once you've got into collimation like that, you've got your primary mirror in. You've got your locking bolts. Now, what I like to do, and and that's preferable really, is as you tighten your locking bolts up leave your collimator in and leave it on because you'll see as you put tension on each bolt you'll knock it back out of collimation again so work your way around as you lock your bolts up to just bring it back into collimation if you like it's it's almost like you're doing a very fine collimation but using your locking bolts just to uh, bring it in because otherwise if you don't do that um, if you just use your normal collimation bolts I think there we are we're done uh, take your collimator out, tighten your locking bolts up and guess what, you're way out of collimation again. So just work your way around them and just bringing it in as you work your way around until the, the, you're happy enough, that they're tight enough and there it is, that's the, uh, that's the primer now, perfectly collimated and like I said you can actually jiggle the, 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 all this lot about and your reflection doesn't move it's it's a phenomenal thing to look at and a lot of people just can't believe it when they see it for the first time uh, but there you go that's about it that's that's now is the primary um, it, it's well it's it's in about as far as it's going to get uh, I know it's been a long one uh, but I hope you've learned a lot and um, thanks for watching